Hello, this is VR Robotica. You may recognize my avatar from social VR sites like Converge or VR Chat, and uh, I do occasionally pop into Alt Space. Um, that's you usually see me as that when I have when I can have a customized avatar. It's usually that pink Optimus Prime. So for this demo of a comic book reader, we are using the Leap Motion. So we have hands. We have pinch controls. Now the pinch is how we are actually going to pick up our comics and how we're going to move things around. And then we use our index fingers to interact with the UI. Right here, we have our podium. This is where we're going to be reading our comics. We're going to take a comic and put it here. It's going to enlarge so we get a supersized comic so we can really appreciate uh, all the artwork and get really close and personal with it. Right above the podium, we're going to have our basic controls. We're going to have you know next, next button and previous button and then a slider to go through all the pages. And currently right here, we have our library. Very simple library. Right now I'm demoing all of my friend's work. My friend, Sean Tiffany, he has created Oil Can Drive. It's a weekly web comic where he actually does all of this artwork by hand, in traditional pen and ink way. No computers, except for the uh, compositing. So take our comic. Oops, we can interact with our comic in 3D space with our leap hands. We can get a bunch of the comics, surround ourselves with comics. They can push on each other, interact. Just have them floating. You know, who needs shelves when you can just have comics all over the place? Right, you just put them back there in our library. Come on. So we take our comic, we just push it right there and onto our podium, and boom, it enlarges. So now we can get really close to our comic. We can really appreciate all the details, all the work that goes into this. You know, who needs a small little 12 by 12 comic when you can have a four foot by four foot comic? So now with our basic UI, we just click the button, start turning pages. Now I'm using the CV one and we actually have um, lots of readability. Granted, this is really large, but the resolution has gotten very good. So it's a lot easier to read these things. Last year, I did the VR Jam and I created a, a mobile comic book reader and we had a heck of a time getting text to read. But now, not so bad. Of course, we also have a desktop so we can have much higher resolution images. See, we've got a giant comic. We can just get right up into it. Since we are using the CV one, we do have a lot of space to walk around in. And in case anyone was wondering, we actually do have a lot of space to wander around in. Like here I am standing about 12 feet away from the desk, going through my room. So it's not quite room scale like a Vive is, however, it is quite adequate. And this is just with a single camera. So with our UI, we just slide through all of our images or all of our pages. very easily. And then when we want to get another book, just pick it up in the middle, shrinks back down to size, and we just place it back in our library. Boom, here's another one. Now, this basic comic book is actually an asset uh, that in the Unity Asset Store. Actually, all you have to do is add in your images and it'll dynamically build each book. It's a very good book. It's it's uh, the assets called Mega Books by the group Mega Fires. I think it's a two man group. They did a fantastic job. Really easy to use. Really easy to create your own content. Of course, when dealing with VR, the bigger question is: Do we just want to replicate the standard experience that we have in the real world, or do we really want to reinvigorate or reinvent the way we read comics? Now, if any of you saw my previous demos with my VR Jam book, um, all that was parallaxed. Because the big special thing is having all these panels and all the characters come come out from behind the panels. They'll start lifting off the page and you're getting this this look where things kind of go over, lap each other. That's very cool. And that's going to be the next update. That's what I'm working on right now. I did that for this book, this first book. And 
Hopefully we'll be able to do it again real soon. If you watch the previous videos, you'll see this image. All the different layers moving around. It's pretty cool when it's parallaxed. And this is a comic book of my own creation. And I'm actually, I did it as a 24 hour challenge. Did 20 pages in 24 hours ish. But with this one, that I'm going to be doing differently for this VR experience, and actually all these panels being drawn out in 2D right now, they will actually be 3D. All these, I've modeled all of these characters in 3D. And then we will have a 3D comic. So all these panels will actually be a render texture looking at a scene that is actually in 3D. But that's to come, hopefully very soon hopefully by denver comic-con 2016 which if you're watching this right now it's about a week away so if any of you happen to be in the denver area next week father's day weekend and you're coming to the denver comic-con you can stop by our booth and actually get a live demo of this now we won't let you walk around so much but a lot of space there so i just want to show you a quick demo you guys have a good one thanks